people injured here 1v1 pale tooth gorge blue side we've got super hooper as a ravener alpha dunning commander there he goes very good mobility can also put out some good damage starts off in range combat but can get melee weapons can also support with a structure and up against on the red side is zensei playing a chaos lord durable and destructive commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed very good offense and destruction fights mainly in melee combat so super Uber with double termigants coming up not often i get to see the raven alpha in 1v1 play use usually the lictor alpha or nothing unless it's floyd playing in a tournament who goes with the high of turret often zensei with double heretics nothing out of the ordinary there we're expecting the combi flamer I suppose double heretics it might be worth the Raffin Alpha getting his acid splatter in tier 2 but we'll see. Chaos Lord a huge pin in the arse for pretty much everyone of course if he can bully stuff with him he's a great capper as well since so he can take on most stuff 1v1 with that kill the weak or at least do very well to it. Termigan is taking the west side the space marines pushing through the mid they're gonna meet the Raffin Alpha who's kinda hanging out there there's Termigants in behind him. Heretics also moving up. So in this situation, I think you'll use that corn worship to get those guys into melee combat with the Termigants. They do not have their Krypton Poison up right now. And then you could send the Heretics after the Raven Alpha to stop him firing that weapon. But it looks like Zensei is happy just to cap mid and send these Heretics off into No Man's Land, which is a bad play. I think he might lose his squad now. Hormagons in amongst them. Wow, lost a bunch of models, and that was, I think, poorly played. Should have used his Kill Space Marines in combat. It's not really that important to be capping this VP at this stage. And now he's able to force off the Hormagaunts, but otherwise almost lost a model off those CSM. But in the end, all he did was lose a bunch of Heretics, which are not that important. He capped the VP, and this Chaos Lord will most likely be forced off. No Krypton Poison up. Looks like he wants that Warrior Brood up for some... Synapse. I thought the Toxin Saps would have, would have been a pretty high priority versus the Chaos Lord, but we see him in retreat there, missing his kill the weak. And Noise Marines on the way for Zensei. Great thing about facing Tyranids is that you can go pretty crazy in Tier 1, not having to worry too much about your Tier 2 transition into Anti Vehicle, which Chaos can struggle with slightly. It seems like it's easy. I'll just buy Plague Marines or a Last Cannon, but your composition in Tier 1 often doesn't help you out in tier 2 if you want to do something like noise marines into raptors or double raptors you're really hurt by a vehicle since the last cannon isn't always enough by itself versus a walker that will change of course in a new update with the raptors getting a, a little bit of anti-vehicle capability in tier 2 with their aspiring champions so I'm very much looking forward to that perhaps some double raptor plays because right now that's kind of suicidal against a competent player we don't have any generators up for Mr. Zensei. He's got his Noise Marines on the field though. These guys with this Sonic Blaster that disables ranged weapons and ranged abilities. Really awesome weapon. Puts out a good amount of damage as well. There we see it. I thought for the longest time that the Sonic Blaster uses its own damage type and therefore did full damage to all infantry. But apparently that's not the case. There is a damage type there. But they don't use it, they just use the flame of damage, so they actually do less to heavy and super heavy, but very, very painful for light infantry, and they do a decent amount to heavy infantry, I think. You can wear down a warrior brood quite nicely with them. Chaos Lord chasing down the Termigant Sissy. We do have Toxin Saps on one squad, I suppose we're going to get it on both of them. We might see the Raven Alpha just go in melee combat to tie up those Noise Marines and try and force a Cacophony out when he's in an unfavorable position like right now. He doesn't want to knock over his Chaos Space Marines as well. Good thing about having a Chaos Lord of course is Cacophony does not affect him because he's too fat. So you can just kind of hang him around, smack stuff in the face while you knock it over with Cacophony's Heretics and if you run out of trouble they only get away thanks to their Aspiring Champion who lives just about. Aspiring Champion is a Chaos Marine. There he is running away. Good pressure here from Zensei. Can he get a model off these 
noise. Marie's not quite. Rav and Alpha forced into melee combat and they lose two models. In fact, that was a model off each of the squads, in fact. And noise Marines do lose two models and they're going for the garrison. He needs to get these guys out of here. This is very, very risky. Termigants can't underestimate their range damage, I don't think. If they move up there and quickly get some shots, Chaos Lord having trouble negotiating the rocks, but he does have his combi flamer up. It's a pretty nasty ranged weapon that he can use on the move, chasing things down, peeling off models and getting his levels up. As you can see, he's almost level 2 already. Raffin Alpha also almost level 2. He's gone for the Burrow Trap. Pretty damn awesome mine, really. It knocks back damages and stuns, I believe. But that will be spotted by the aspiring champion of the Heretics every time he places one of those things. It will be spotted and won't go off if those Heretics are in range of their keen sight to spot it with. But he can use those to protect the VPs, especially if a heretic squad without an aspiring champion tries to run up to it. But he's got two aspiring champions, so that burrow trap purchase might not pay off very much. Which is a shame because a Raffin Alpha has pretty awesome accessories. So kind of wasting this burrow trap slot could bite him in the arse. He does he has put one down there. Four five two three eight two. Termigant's capping mid, he does have Toxin sets up on both of them now, Warrior Brood coming out of base, hanging around their Hormagant, so it might see some melee synapse action in tier 2, nice sign of the Barb Strangler, which might have been worth it, versus two melee heretic squads, though I suppose he does have the double Crippling Poison to try and control that. There's one, Crippling Poison, completely screws over your movement so there's like a 90% reduction or something these guys getting into combat though and termigants can't really do much in melee combat so just those four heretics or three heretics and the aspiring champion able to force off two squads there with that awesome doom blast now the raven alpha being tied up knocked down by a special attack only the aspiring champion himself can perform special attacks within the heretics but otherwise they do have pretty good melee skill which is why they're such a good melee counter, they're not knocked over and caught by specials very often, especially if you can level these guys up of course. Leveling your troops is really important in melee fights because it gives you more melee skill, which is usually what wins them. Special attacks are what win the day. So it's all about them levels. Former Gaunts, are they going to fight this curse though? Looks like they are, no he's backing away, doesn't want to get killed or weak and forced off, so he, in fact he retreats them. Oh, Burrow Trap goes off on the chaos though, look at that. It's actually doing a good job against him because it stuns and proximity mines and the mech boy mines and stuff don't stun. Well the mech boy mines do snare vehicles but I don't think they do much to a big commander like the Chaos Lord. Double Terminus forced off again. I assume his Krippin Poison was on cooldown on both instances there. Maybe he just didn't want to hang out because they can still shoot at him. These guys with Eternal War you can tell by the plus icon above their indicator there and those Chaos Insignias around their weapons and the burrow trap goes down and goes off killing the raven alpha and killing one of the chaos space marine models you can have to repurchase now of course this is a 1v1 no revives for you tier 2 for both players super Pooper getting there first a tyrant guard would be a pretty good choice i think right now could overwhelm with melee heretics can't really do much against the tyrant guard he will rip them to shreds with that splash damage Going straight after that Warrior Brood, trying to get those Synapse Explosions from this Heretic Squad, but they are forced off. And both of these guys leveling up, and leveling up is really important for Synapse Creatures because it makes their Synapse better as you level. 409372. That's why it can be so devastating to lose a leveled up Warrior Brood. If you replace it, all of a sudden you've got a level 1 Warrior Brood with a baseline synapse and baseline statistics and just can't pull your way back. Formagaunt's forced off there. See the damage that those noise marines put out with that sonic blaster there. Blood Crusher on the way for Zensei. Typically a pretty good choice versus Tyranids who want a zone throw on the field. Because if you have a bunch of stuff, especially with corn worship, you can get that corn worship going and just send everything at the zone throw. They usually can't snare or control everything and the zone throat's usually forced off but we will see blood letters can follow it up of course and super with a hell of a lot of red here look he hasn't used any 
of the towers. I've not actually seen him place any tunnels apart from the first one he placed, and he has. Look at this, the acid splatter. That's where he's spent all of his resources. Has to regenerate. Also has that barrel trap, of course. Regenerate makes him quite tough there, as you can see. Gives him some health regen, and even more health regen out of combat, and a big health bonus. He's level 2 with 8, 8 2 hit points. Here's the Blood Crusher, a demon with vehicle armor. Very good single target DPS, good mobility, but can be taken down very quickly by hard anti vehicle weapons. Only 600 hit points on this guy, but it can be repaired and worshipped. And he's gone for a Venerbrood in direct response to that. I still would have gone for the Tyrant Guard. Tyrant Guard will quite easily deal with a Blood Crusher. Here are the Venerbrood anti vehicle Tyranids. Very powerful cannons. Can also get a ranged synapse, which he is getting. Will help out those double termagants with the health and damage buff. Down goes a Raffinate Alpha lost in single combat to a Blood Crusher. What happened there? Could he not get into this garrison? Maybe that garrison is bugged. 398 302. I'm not sure. Did he try to get in? It should have been bugged. He should be able to get in there. 1 to 1 cap. And there is a capillary tower up in the mid. Got nothing to benefit, and he can just turn around and take that down now and get a bunch of XP for it. One to one cap. Super Hooper. What's he spent all of his resources on? Reinforcing. And Rain Synapse is getting cost changes in an upcoming update. It's now going to cost more wreck, but less power. But the Venom Brute themselves will cost power to get on the field from quite big changes for those guys. Rafa and Alpha just annoyed by those noise marines while the heretics take down the generators. Acid Splatter going to town, that's actually a power weapon, even though the splash is piercing as you see there. And he's attacking the garrison with it and damaging those noise marines. Forces them out of there, bang, hits them on retreat, almost wipes out the squad. In fact, he might be able to get one more hit. If he had his strength and sinew, that would be a dead squad. But as it turns out, they get away. Heretics coming into flank where they're being chased by melee synapse warriors alongside Hormagaunts. Hormagaunts with Endless Swarm also. Look at the damage that Blood is taking from the Venom Brood there. Some corn worship for it though. And he decides to retreat out his Tyranids. Venom Brood caught by Heretics and there's Bloodlust from Zensei. Global ability of the Chaos Lord buffing the damage of all of your stuff for each successful attack. That's melee or ranged attacks, but melee attacks will buff the damage up quicker. And it lasts, it lasts 25 seconds, lasts a hell of a long time, so you can really turn an engagement with that thing. Especially if your opponent doesn't necessarily know it's happening, because it's not the most often used global, but it's a pretty damn good one, I think. 355302. Have an alpha backing away, it's level 3. More heretics on the way for Zensei, he lost. Both of his heretic squads, in fact, wow. Forced off the Venom Brew, but retreated out too late. And that has actually turned out to be a pretty good, good engagement for Super Hooper. He's close to hitting level 3 on a bunch of stuff. His Venom Brew is still level 1. Chaos Lord getting the Icon of Corn, so you might see Lightning Claws. He has Armor and Inferno as well, which is awesome. 355302. He wants that Corn Worship up. Look at this, we have. Mark of Corn, Chaos Space Marines. So we might see some more Bloodlust action. Gives them these power melee chain axes with a Melter Pistol on the Aspiring Champion and Plasma Pistols for the other models. 355302. As you can see, pretty good movement speed. Also buffs their health, I think, by 15%. Catching some Tyranids in retreat path. Almost wiping out those Hormagaunts with the help of... A Doom Blast, no attempt even to try and control those units with Quick Pin Poison. He, didn't, he couldn't do anything to control the Blood Crusher, just sort of runs away. 355302, Tyrant Guard on the way for Super Hooper. Look, he's red. That's enough for a nuke if he's in Tier 3. And Zensei, what is he going to do now? Now that he sees the Tyrant Guard, he can't get Marcos in CSM. He's stuck with these guys, and they will be pretty badly beaten up by a Tyrant Guard. Bloodletters on the way. Here is the Tyrant Guard, and this guy's awesome. 2,500 hit points of super heavy infantry armor. He can charge into combat. 
it can heal itself with a shield horn, which also gives it vehicle armor for the duration. And it has almost 100 heavy melee with a splash. It's a 15 damage splash, I believe. And this thing only costs 400 rec 55 power. It can be incredibly vulnerable if it's out of synapse or tower range because it's very slow. But as you can see, when it's in synapse range, it's not that slow at all. It's pretty damn good. Even so, it can get isolated and taken down. And actually very rarely makes it into tier 3 from my experience. The blood pressure goes down thanks to the Venom Brood. Because Space Marines are a bit slow since they were caught by the Crippling Poison. They couldn't get in amongst the Venom Brood to tie them up. But they're going to town on them now. There's the Galaxy Burn. Time we go back to wait. 299302. Do they have... They do have Endless Swarm. All up to 10 models. And here are the Bloodletters. Demons with infantry armor, awesome power weapons, and here is their teleport. Get a big tail, of course, because they are that dangerous. They're a jump troop with a very long jump, and they can also passively teleport short distances. But as you can see, absolutely own the Ravana Alpha there. These guys are awesome in combat, good melee skill, and some good specials as well. Quick animation and quite good knockback strength. Level 3 Chaos Temple. No, he's gone for the Chaos Dreadnoughts. Hmm, maybe he wants a Blood Rage Dreadnought to send in and go nuts on these warriors. The Tyrant God will take damage from Synapse Backlash. It won't be knocked over, of course. 284302. Bloodlet is phasing out of existence. Another one of their tricks. Ignoring all damage, but are unable to cap or attack for the duration. But they can chase stuff down, as you see here. Is he waiting for it to wear off before he cripples them? There's no cripple going on here. What's going on? Has he used it already on both squads? While they were capping? I'm not sure, but he forces them off. 268302. And here is the Chaos Dreadnought. What is he going to do with this thing? Is he going to go Markov Zinch? He is going to go Markov Corn, And he's going to go straight into the face of those melee Tyranids. And that's going to be interesting to see. Because he, he'll be ripping through Warrior Brood models pretty damn quickly with that Markov Corn Dreadnought. Assuming Blood Rage is up. And then, I don't know, maybe he can position his Chaos Space Marines to be in behind that Tyrant Guard so this Cone Splash won't hit them. It's going to be tricky though. Going full melee against Tyranids is a massive risk and that's what he's done. Only his Noise Marines are not a melee unit right now. And he hasn't got the Blast Master which he can maybe put up on this ridge here and do some damage to armies in the mid, but he might do a lot of friendly fire as well, I suppose. Now he's seen that Dreadnought. He's going to need to be very careful, of course, and tie up that Venerbrew. Maybe his Chaos Lord can do that. There's some Corn Worship. Corn Worship will affect this Dreadnought in the in terms of the speed bonus. It's plus two speed, isn't it, Corn Worship? So it's pretty damn awesome for your Dreadnoughts. Look at this, a Hive Node is up. This is the structure that the Ravenna Alpha can purchase, build, and it's pretty damn awesome. Activate the Spore Cloud on it and any friendly units get a damage reduction. But it also affects outgoing damage, range damage that is. So the way to counter it is just to go in and smack it in melee combat, have good melee units that are tough because it damages them also but here we see the Dreadnought going after the Tyrant God look at the damage the Tyrant God and the Venom Brood are doing their blood letters going straight after the Venom Brood this is bad for Super Hooper Blood Rage Dreadnought is still chasing down the Tyrant God and this thing cannot retreat of course and now it's out of synapse you see how slow it is 253268 the Hive Node will be taken down by the Chaos Space Marines there we go these guys level 3 doing well here comes some Tyranids. The Dreadnought's not attacking the Tyrant God. Oh, he doesn't want to get hit by the Venerable. I think that is a good call to back away that Tyrant God with its vehicle armor. So it's not taking that much damage from the Bloodletter's power melee weapons. But now they're chasing down the Venerable. don't think Sue Pooper is paying attention to his stuff. Ouch. Ouch. Warrior Brood down. Ben and Brood just about getting away. Chaos Space Marines have reached level 4. That was brutal. Now we can take down this tower for some XP. He hasn't put any towers near his base, which is odd. Usually you see them.
coming out of base to give your units that plus one speed. 253, 268. Still has his noise range. Level 3. He's used them reasonably well, I think. But can he keep this momentum up? They just got there from that Warrior Brood loss. And super but into tier 3 with plenty of resources. This Chaos Dreadnought really set Zensei back in terms of tech. Can he make it count here? Can he take down this Tyrant Guard? In fact, he's trying to finish off those former Gaunts. He needs to tie up that Venom Brood. That's what he needs to do. Where's that corn worship? Really need some corn worship right now. Tyrant Guard's back on his feet and takes down the Dreadnought. Quick thinking by Supooper to get that thing back up. Look at that. Let the Galaxy burn right in base. And Blood Letters. Blood Sacrifice Blood Letters spawned from the Heretics. But they are going to get hit by those base turret type things that Tyranids have. Which will knock down pretty much everything apart from a vehicle. 218, 268. So that was pretty painful for Zensei. Not sure that the Chaos Dreadnought was worth it. I would have just gone for a second Chaos Space Marine squad and given it Marco Zinch. And you would have been tearing through the Warrior Brood and the Tyrant God like crazy. Maybe got Lightning Claws up on your Chaos Lord as well. Heretics reinforcing, he's going tier 3 but Supooper is well into tier 3, now has a Carnifex on the way and huge amounts of red, could drop a nuke and even drop some Ravenous in and anything else he wants. 195268, Chaos Space Marines decapping, Zensei not giving up, he's going tier 3, he has a lot of red himself and can drop a nuke himself which could be telling, especially if he can chase things back to base again, drop a Let the Galaxy Burn on them and then drop the Abyss, that could be nasty, as Abyss up, big ask though, he didn't take down his tower, 195266221 for Super Uber, Carnifix on the way, I'm going to assume it's going to be a Thornback since they're big and scary, but might be a Barb Strangler now that he's taken down that Dreadnought, there is the Crypt Poison, and another one, nope, ouch, Venombrood losing a model, 195253. Do you use both of them there? You really got to chain your Crippling Poisons. Here come those heretics, level 2. Sensei with just 3 units on the field, and then his commander, Supooper, with 5. Tyrant Guard in shield wall mode. Here's the Carnifex. Unupgraded at the moment begins as this big, scary melee monstrous creature can become even more scary and even more melee if it gets a thorn back. Chaos Predator on the way. Wants to get that Marco Zinch Predator to try and shoot down this Carnifex. The Carnifex does have vehicle armor, though it is a monstrous creature, so it will slowly regenerate health. You can take it back to your HQ to help with that. Tyranids have no way to repair anything, of course, which is a bit unfortunate for them, because they can't even repair their own generators or their own structures or anything. Chaos Lord chasing down the Raven Alpha doing good damage with that Combi Flame of Steel. Level 5 Raven, a very nearly level 6. Chaos Lord is level 5 also. Fun Effects does have Thorn back. Taking up to 1875 hit points. And go to town on the generators. Can also spawn some Rippers. Which he, he, he should just do right now since the, so the cooldown will start again. Generators I might be wiped out here. Here is the Chaos Predator. It's gone for Mark of Corn. Buffs the damage of all the weapons, but does it give it that specialized Laz Cannon for vehicles? He's dropped some Raveners as well here. Has Super Hooper, one of the global abilities of the Ravener Alpha. 161245 is not over yet. Sensei does have the VP lead. He's not giving this up. He's chasing off those Raveners. Could turn around and go and take that VP back. Is he going to? No. Surely he should. Looks like he's not. Supooper now know there's a tank. What is he going to do about it? What can he do about it? He's got to try and chase it down with the Carnifex of the Tyrant God. Can't really afford anything else. Venom Brood, of course. I don't think they're going to be enough. Imperial Abyss in retreat by the huge waste of a nuke there. Just mistimed it. Would have been really good. He got the position in right. Just did it too late. They were already through it. Tyrant Guard. 
Wow, Chaos Space from his level 4 going to town on a Tyrant God, forcing it into Shield Wall, even though it had Carnifex support there. He needs to run away now, though. Don't keep those guys in combat, Zensei. He's gonna lose them, isn't he? That was a sync kill that might have saved him. I think that saved him. If he didn't get that sync kill, he would have swung again and probably killed both models of the Carnifex. Current guard is gonna go down on a couple of shots. You can't tie up the ranged weapons on a tank. He doesn't care if you're hitting it in melee combat. Can he even take this thing down? See, if that was a Zinch Tread, if that was a Zinch Predator, sorry, that would have been a dead Tyrant Guard. Zinch would have easily dealt with that shield wall up. These noise Marines continue to stay relevant. Level 4 late game. Carnifex charges onto their face though and might wipe them out here. Bang, there goes one. Bang, there goes the other. The other model was far enough away and it does get away. 140, 205. Raffin Alpha just about gets away. See that Mark of Horn Predator barely tickling the Carnifex with that shot there. Time against some capping duty. It's going to be a 2 to 1. For, no, for Super Uber, yes it is. Sensei. Got a lot of resources. What does he want to get? Does he want to get a Phobos? Here come those Michael Corn CS and they have been heroic. They don't have their aspiring champion at the moment. It's not a permanent squad leader, unfortunately, for them. You need to repurchase when he dies. Down goes the Predator tank, though. Thanks to a Toronto formation, if those Venom Brew didn't finish it off, that would have. And the Heretics are getting caught here. But they live. 129205. Kind effects levels to 2, and all of a sudden it's exponentially more scary with over 2,000 hit points. Michael Corner CSM caught by Ravenous, who are a power melee unit, and the Ravenous Alpha himself, or itself, almost level 7, being chased down here. Wow. 129205. Super Uber with a massive lead now, huge army advantage resources to get pretty much anything you want soon. Could get a Swarm Lord very soon, which looks like he's saving for. Zensei could get anything he wants, but what does he want? Two Predator tanks, I think, would be the way to go if he can use them well. Two Marcos each, guys. One Marcos each, one Marco Corn, maybe. One, two, nine, two, zero, three. Big melee fights. Takes down the Ravener Brew. Does he? They're trying to borrow away. Did they get away? No, they didn't. Now the Raffin Alpha going to town. That splash damage absolutely ripping through those heretics there. He gets a sink kill. Great unclean one is what Zensei goes for. Let's see how it goes. Not sure that's gonna work out very well for him. Tyrant Guards level 2. Up to 2750 hit points. Swarm Lord on the way in tier 3, that is the super unit for Tyranids, we'll see that guy in action, unless Zensei concedes before then, not sure the Great Unclean was going to help him out too much, just going to be focused down by everything, he's got level 4 Termigants with Endless Swarm, they're putting out a fair amount of piercing damage, he's got the Venom Brood, and he's got all of that melee from the Tyrant God and the big scary Thornback Carnifex, and he's going to have the Swarm Lord soon as well, which is also a heavy melee unit. Tyrant God has found a Chaos Lord to have a bit of fun with, and he's chopping him to death. He's going to kill him, is he? Not quite. Ralph and Alpha is trying to get the last hit, but couldn't quite manage it. Let's see how this... Uh, would have been interesting to see how that Michael Corn squad would have done against the Tyrant God without the Ralph and Alpha. They might finish it off anyway. No, not quite. Ralph and Alpha really screwed them over there. There's Bloodlust up. He's going to lose this squad, is he? Not quite. 1-2-9, one, 1-2-9. Two, nine, one, two, nine. It's a double cap for Super Hooper. Grand clean one. Ouch, there's his big vomit. Knocking over a bunch of Termigans. He didn't actually kill a model there. Because they're so high level and have a level 3 Venobrood giving them range synapse. And he didn't actually lose a model there. That was amazing. Termigans with almost 1700 hit points. 1, 2, 9, 98. There's a triple cap for Super Hooper. And this is going to be it. Because it doesn't have enough stuff to push the areas of the map the way he needs to. Nice Marines. Would a Blast Master have helped him out in the mid? Maybe. I don't think so. With the big melee army he had, would have got would have killed as much as his stuff. 
as he did super hoopers would, would have hurt him more. Well, these capillary towers look tasty apparently. 129.58. Down goes one. And they do give XP, though the Grand P1 can't level up. Triple cap is going to take his natural back, but I'd seen no way that he can come mid. There's the vomit again. Well, he only lost two termigants. They're tanking it like a boss. Venom Brood forced off. What was that? It looked a bit weird. I don't know what that was. They seem to be taking damage from something there. Some corn worship for these noise marines, but there's a GG and there's the double cap. 129 and 7. And I think that Chaos Dreadnought purchase uh, was not the right choice. I think he should have gone for some Marcos Inch CSM and tried to shoot down that Tyrant Guard. Taking it on in melee combat is always so risky. And I don't think it paid off at all. It really set him back going on into tier 3 and getting these tanks, which you want generally, versus a Tyranid, I think. But they have it. Grand King one up at the end, but he loses. Sorry, big fella. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.